we're looking for question number 35. We have to find the value of B so that the lines x minus 1 by 2 give an equation of the lines are intersecting lines. Now, uh, let's say we are on, okay, we are on question number 35, part A. And let's say this is the first equation of the line L1, which is x minus 1 by 2 is equal to y minus y by 3 is equal to z minus 3 by 4. And the next equation of the line is L2 is x minus 4 by 5 is equal to y minus 1 by 2 is equal to z by 1. Now, so these are the intersecting lines. So uh, we know that for the non coped inner lines, the shortest distance between them is the shortest distance between two lines which are not intersecting is b1 cross v2 dot product with a2 minus a1 divided by the magnitude of b1 cross b2 it's magnitude now this is the shortest distance between two lines but if the lines are intersecting so that means this shortest distance is zero and if this shortest distance is zero that means b1 cross b2's dot product with a2 minus a1 should be equal to zero so let's find out let's use this concept so this is b2 vector b1 cross b2 dot product with a2 minus a1 is zero and <clears throat> why we have used this because the shortest distance between two lines is given by this formula and if the lines are intersecting, that means the shorter distance is zero. So this goes to the right hand side and we get this. So we are going to use this. And for that, let's get our A2, A1 and B1, B2. So A1 here is the position vector. So this is one, B and three. So this is I cap plus BJ cap plus three K cap. This is A1 vector. Similarly, B1 vector is the from the direction ratios that is b1 vector is the vector which is parallel to l1 line l1 and which is uh, these are the direction ratios of that vector so it is 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 4k cap now similarly here a2 vector is 4i cap plus j cap and we don't have the coordinates for z so b2 vector is this is 5 this is 5 i cap plus 2 j cap plus k cap this is 1. now let's find out a2 minus a1 vector so a2 is 4 i cap plus j cap minus a1 is i cap plus b j cap plus 3 k cap so 4 minus 1 is 3 i cap and this is 1 minus b into j cap and minus 3k cap. So this is a2 minus a1. And let's find out the cross product of b1 and b2. So the cross product of b1 and b2 is i, j, k. b1 has the scalar components 2, 3, 4, and this is 4, 2, and 1. Okay, so B1 cross B2 is I cap, and this is 3 minus A minus J cap, which is 2 minus 20 plus K cap, which is 4 minus 15. And this is minus 5 I cap plus 18 J cap minus 11 K cap. Now this is B1 cross B2 and this is A2 minus A1. We have to find their dot product. So dot product of B1 cross B2 with A2 vector minus A1 vector. So this is minus 5 I cap plus 18 J cap minus 11 K cap dot product with Three i cap plus one minus b j cap minus three k cap. 
So minus 5 into 3 is minus 15 plus 18 into 1 minus b is 18 minus 8b. So 18b minus 11 into minus 3 is plus 33. And now this should be equal to 0. So this is equal to 0 for the intersecting lines. So this gives us minus 18b is equal to minus 15 plus 18 is 3 plus 13. 3 is 36 and when shifted to right hand side is negative 36 so b is equal to 2 okay so that means our equation of the line the first equation of the line l1 is this is x minus 1 by 2 is equal to y minus b is 2 now 3 so we can put its value z minus 3 by 4 and the second equation of the line is x minus 4 by 5 is equal to y minus 1 by 2 is equal to z by 1 okay now the next question is we have to find the point of intersection of these two lines so point of intersection of these two lines means that if i point of intersection of these two lines let's say this is the point of intersection of these two lines which is common to both the lines both the lines l1 and l2 so if uh, if I take the coordinates of this point from line 1, that will satisfy the coordinates of the point on the line 2. So let's say this is equal to k for line 1, L1. So equating this with k gives us x is equal to, to k plus 1. And y minus 2 equating to 3 will give us y is equal to 3k plus 2. Um, this equating will give us z is equal to 4k plus 3. So x is equal to 2k plus 1, y is equal to 3k plus 2, and z is equal to 4k plus 3. Now we will replace these values in line L2. And so replacing these values in line L2 because it's a point of intersection, so this will satisfy these points will satisfy the equation of the line l2 so this for x i can put it's 2k plus 1 minus 4 by 5 is equal to y is 3k plus 2 minus 1 by 2 is equal to z is 4k plus 3 by 1. okay if i consider these two it will give me the value of k so this is 2k plus 1 and this is minus 4 which will give me minus 3 by 5 and this is 3k plus 1 by 2 if we cross multiply this this is 4k minus 6 is equal to 15k plus 5 4 minus 15 is minus 9k and this is 11 so k is equal to minus 11 by 9 and we've got the value of k which is minus 11 by 9 uh, okay, just, let me just check it once again so x minus 1 by 2 is equal to y minus 2 by 3 is equal to z minus 3 by 4 gives us x this is x is equal to 2k plus 1 3 lambda 3k plus 2 and if we replace this value here so this is 2k plus 1 minus 4 upon 5 is equal to 3k plus 2 minus 1 upon 2 so this is 3k minus 3 by 5 is equal to 3k plus 2 minus 1 is 1 so 4 minus 6 is equal to 5 3 15 plus 5 minus 9k and 5 plus 6 is 11 okay okay so this is 2k minus 3 by 5 is equal to 3k plus 1 by 2 and if we cross multiply this this is 4k minus 6 is equal to 5 3 are is 15 plus Five. Now 4k minus 15k is equal to 
5 plus 6 okay which is sorry minus 11 k this is 11 and k is equal to negative 1 so k is equal to negative 1 so that means the point of intersection let's replace the value of k negative 1 here so k is negative 1 therefore find of intersection is x is equal to 2 into negative 1 minus 2 this is minus 1 minus 3 plus 2 y is minus 1 and z is equal to minus 4 plus 3 is negative 1 so the point of intersection is negative 1 negative 1 and negative 1 and this solves the part a and let's move to second part the second part is let me first of all erase these okay okay for part b question number 35 part b we have to find the equations of all sides of the parallelogram a b c d whose vertices are given so let's do this part first the now rectangle is sorry parallelogram is a b c d so this is a b c and d now the coordinates of a are 4 7 8 and b are 2 3 and 4 and c are coordinates of c are negative 1 negative 2 and 1 and coordinates of d are 1 2 and 5 so equations of all sides so let's get the equation of cd so cd is okay sorry the first one is a b so a b is a line passing through these two points four seven eight and uh two three four and we know that the equation of a line passing through two points is given by x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 upon z2 minus z1 so we are use, going to use this formula for each of these four sides the first one is x minus x1 is 4 is equal to y minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 and 2 minus 4 is minus 2 3 minus 7 is minus 4 4 minus 8 is minus 4 so this is the equation of the line ab now equation of the line bc is x minus these are x1 y1 z1 minus 2 y minus 3 z minus 4 minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 and 1 minus 4 is minus 3 similarly we can get the equation of line cb so it's x minus of minus 1 is plus 1 y minus of minus 1 is plus minus of minus 2 is plus 2 z minus 1 and this is now for cd minus of minus 1 is minus 2 okay this is x2 minus x1 so this is 2 so this is 2 1 minus of minus 2 minus of minus 2 is 4 and 5 minus 1 is 4 we have two common here so we can take two common and write this equation as this equation can be written as x minus 1 by 1 is equal to y plus 2 by 2 is equal to z minus 1 by okay so this is the equation of the line cd similarly we can get the equation of the line d equation on side da so this is x minus 1 y minus 2 z minus 5 and 4 minus 1 is 3, y minus 2, 7 minus 2 is 5, and 8 minus 5 is 3. Okay, we have got all the equations of the sides. Now moving on to the next statement, we have to find the corners of the foot of the perpendicular from A to B. So foot of the perpendicular from A to B, let's say this is the perpendicular, and foot of the perpendicular is B. Now, 
this point P lies on CD. So, put of perpendicular P lies on CD. So, that means if I equate this line CD, so equation of CD is X plus 1 by 1 is equal to y plus 2 by 2 is equal to z minus 1 by 2. So let's say this is equal to k. So this gives us x is equal to k minus 1, y is equal to 3k minus 2, and z is equal to 3k plus 1. Now this point lies on line C. Now let's say for some value of k, this is the foot of the perpendicular. Now for some value of k, this is the, these are, so these are means x, y, and z, some value of k. So these are the coordinates of foot of perpendicular. So these are, let's say, coordinates of foot of perpendicular. So if these are the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular, so that means a direction ratio. So we can find the direction ratios of AP. So direction ratios of line AP. Now AP for AP, we have A is the coordinates of A are 478, 478. And the coordinates of P are K minus 1, 2K minus 2, and 2K plus 1. These are the coordinates of P. And that is K minus 1, 2K minus 2, and 2K plus 1. Now the direction ratios of AP is direction ratios of AP are given by X2 minus X1. So this is K minus 1 minus 4. Is 1 minus 4 and the next direction ratio is 2k minus 2 minus 7 so 2k minus 2 minus 7 and then 2k plus 1 so 2k plus 1 minus 8 so this gives us the direction ratios of AP which would be k minus 5 2k minus 9 and 2k minus 7 so k minus 5, 2k minus 9, and 2k minus 7 are the direction ratios of AP. Similarly, we can get the direction ratios of CD. So direction ratios of CD are minus 1 minus, so 1, of, 1 minus 1 is 2. We can write it 2. And 2 minus of minus 2 is 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. Now, since AP is perpendicular to CD, so that means A1, A2, that is the sum of the product of their respective direction ratio should be equal to zero. So A1 is K minus five. So it's two into K minus five plus four into two K minus nine plus four into 2k minus 7 should be equal to 0. So <clears throat> it's 2 into k minus 5 plus 4 or we can also okay so this is 2k minus 10 plus 8k minus 36 plus 8k minus 28 is equal to 0 which is just 2k plus 8 is 10, plus 8 is 18, minus 10, minus 36 is minus 46, and minus 46 and minus 28 is 14, 74. So this is equal to 74, which gives us k is equal to 74 by 18, 9, and this is 3, 7. So k is 37 by 9. So the value of k is 37 by 9, so we can get the coordinates of p. So if we have to find the coordinates of P, we have to replace the value of K. So coordinates of P are, 
So these were the coordinates of P. X. So these were the coordinates of P. Okay, the first one was K minus one. So K minus one is 37 by nine minus one. Second was 2k minus 2, so 2 into 37 by 9 minus 2, and the third one was 2k plus 1, so this is 2 into 37 by 9 plus 1, and the thirty coordinates are 37 minus 9, 17 minus 9 is 8, so this is 28 by 9, and this is 2 into 37 is 7, 2 is 14, 2 is 6, 74 minus 9 by 9, this is 2 into 37 by 9, this is 7, 2 is 14, 2 is 6, 74 plus 9 by 9, which gives us 28 by 9, 74 minus 9, 14 minus 9, okay, this is 18. And this is 9. Okay, so 14 minus 8 is 6. And 6 minus 1 is 5. So 56 by 9. And it's 83 by 9. These are the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular. 28 by 9, 56 by 9, and 83 by 9. And this solves our question number 35. Let's move on to section E.